Hello and welcome to my latest video on how to make awesome sound effects for your streams. In this video, I'll be demonstrating how you can make amazing sound effects using Audacity, but also how you can get these on your streams as either alerts or sound effect commands in the chat that your viewers can use to interact with you, the streamer. It makes it a lot more fun to stream when your viewers feel like they can get involved too. So without further ado, this is some of the awesome sound effects I'm going to be showing you how to make today. Wonderful. That was simply wonderful. Sassmaster193, please report to the failure room. The room where we keep the failures. Ooh, someone thought it. In the industry, we like to call it Garrett. Now those are some of my most popular sound effects that the audience just seem to love to write in the chat. Um, I think the first one's wonderful, so they can literally write exclamation mark wonderful and that sound effect automatically plays. But I have it set up so it takes some certain level of currency away from the person. So they have to basically have watched my stream for a good while in order to be able to play those sound effects. So it stops all things like trolls trying to come in and just spam sound effects. You also have a lot of control over that, um, but we'll go into that later. Uh, the second one, fail, exclamation mark fail, that easy. And uh, the third one, which one was the third one? Ooh. Someone thought it. In the industry, we like to call it Garrett. <laughs> uh, the, the third one is salty, exclamation mark salty, and the fourth one is wrecked. Uh, they are super popular. You can actually see here on my, uh, my list here, I've got a whole ton of sound effects. Uh, let's swap screens real quick. You guys can see a little bit better like, like that. Yeah. There you go, so you can see, like, I've got Fail, I've even got Leroy, Motivation, Much Sass, Wrecked, Roasted, all different various types, so the guys in the chat can get involved in what's going on in stream. So without further ado, things that you're going to need to get this done is Audacity, which is the program that allows you to record uh, sounds, um, you're obviously using your microphone. Uh, I've got a link in the description. Then you're going to need a chatbot. I personally use Streamlabs chatbot. I find it is the best for just moderation, but also being able to control things uh, that are played directly through your computer. They don't rely on like a web source, so you don't get any like delays or anything. It goes straight from your PC. So the second someone types that command, it plays automatically on your PC. It doesn't wait for like a browser to load or anything like that. It's super duper easy and that's why I love it. Uh, I would highly suggest it. There is a download link in the description again. Um, so let's actually focus on creating our first sound effect. So if I just clear these because I've just re-recorded them now. Uh, which one should we do? Hmm. Let's do the salty. I like I like the salty one. So let's let's pretend we're doing one right now. Ooh, someone salty. All right. So you can see here, there's a little bit of sound from me clicking. So what I'm actually going to do is is cut that section out. So what you can do is just click here and drag drag it across, and then where it's got the scissors here, you can just cut that. And we'll do the same on this end here. Let's cut that. If you want to silent any silence any bits in between, uh, say like two sounds, you can easily click this here where it says silence audio and it effectively silences it. Really, really super duper. Okay, so once you've got your sound effect all recorded, it sounds brilliant. Ooh, someone salty. I'm not salty right now, but we're gonna be if we don't get this done. Uh, <laughs> so first of all, make sure you uh, you save your project as I've already saved it, uh, but you can save it as whatever name it is. So mine saved as oh someone salty, and now you need to export it to create the file that you you're going to export for your sound effect. So export audio. We're gonna export it as the same name as the save file. We're going to make sure it's on MP3 files. Make sure that you've got the lame encoder downloaded. It is in the description below. If you don't have that downloaded, 
uh, it won't let you actually save it as an mp3 file so make sure you do that uh, it's an auto download you don't need to do anything once you've downloaded it it's literally download install that's it you ignore it it's just automatic it allows you to uh, basically save files as mp3s uh, okay so click save okay if it's a small file it won't take long and it's automatically saved okay now we're going to close that go back here and we're going to try and create a sound effect so obviously you need to make sure you've got your streamlabs chatbot installed and once you've got that installed and you've done your login if you've never used it before you click this button the bottom left where it says connections and you log in with your uh, your bot account and that's your streamer account uh, and you log in with your streamer account just here and that tells what your bot where it needs to go in terms of of channels and they will automatically put everything in there so obviously make sure you've logged in go to your sound files we go to the top right where it says add it's the cross click that give your uh, your sound effect a, a title so i've already got salty so we're just going to call this o oh salty uh, for the purposes of the video o oh salty now votes you need to have that on one uh, if you're like a smaller channel uh, where you just want to start getting that audience interaction up really quick If you've got loads of viewers then good for you uh, What you can do to stop things like spam is increase the amount of votes required to play the sound effect That will mean that you know Say you have it say you have like a hundred people watching and you don't want the sound effects to spam too much uh, Have it on like two to five votes um, Five people have to write exclamation mark oh salty to play the sound effect if you don't want that, then by all means, just keep it on one. S volume, uh, it depends here on volume. If you want it to scare you, like on my channel, we have Leroy, like where the guy shouts, Leroy! Um, we like to have that quite loud, and I have that on 110. Uh, what that does is it really scares me, so when I'm in those moments where we're in game and we're concentrating on something really particular, someone will type exclamation mark Leroy, and I'll be like, ah! Like, it will really get me every time. Uh, but on other sound effects, I typically keep them between 90 and 100. So I'm going to keep this one on 90. Now, for this, uh, the reason you need to make sure it's an MP3 is that Streamlabs Chatbot only really works with MP3s. As you can see here, MP3. So we're going to go to the desktop just here. Look. Oh, someone salty. Open that. It has now got that in. Now, we need to generate a command for this. And we want to set parameters on the command so that people can't spam it too much in our chat. To do that, um, we give the permissions to whoever you want. Um, on Streamlabs Chatbot, it allows you to set whether you want regulars, VIPs, blah, 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 subscribers. You can have it so only subscribers uh, can use this sound effect, which is a great subscriber perk. Or you can have it as everyone. If you're a... A new streamer I would suggest having as everyone just so you can get it started get people used to using them and then maybe as you grow bigger and you've got a good subscriber base and you want to give them an extra perk maybe have it on just subscribers it depends it depends completely you can even have it on minimum hours so they have to watch for a certain amount of hours before they do it again it stops trolls it's great um, mine's set on mine's set on everyone uh, now for costs you might be like what costs costs it's not real money it's uh the currency in uh in stream currency so you can see here there's a section just here um you will have your own currency you'll call it whatever you want to call it mine are called sass balls because my followers and our community is called the sassy salmons and so we have sass balls a bit like you know how fish have eggs it's the sass balls um, and that is the currency so to play a sound i need someone to spend 1000 sass balls and that means again no one can spam it um cool down i keep that on on one minute so we don't get again spam it's on save rich um because they've watched so so much of me uh we submit boom sorted so um now if we go to our twitch channel let's pull that up just here now we're obviously offline at the second um 
So what you would do here is simply go to the chat and type exclamation mark O oh, salty. Hit enter. Ooh, someone salty. <laughs> and because I, I'm a moderator, it shouldn't have the um, the same. Uh, this is my channel, obviously, so I'm automatically a super mod. Um, you can do it again. Ooh, someone salty. Brilliant. And if you've got a stream deck like I have, uh, you see these awesome pieces of kit just here. Uh, you can actually have it so the sound effect is automatically attached to there as well. So I can do it straight from, from here. Any of my sound effects. Let's do uh, motivation. I believe in you. You can do it! <laughs> it's that easy. And you can even have it so um, you want to let people know that they're spending a thousand sassables each time. So uh, you can type, I believe it is, where's the dollar sign? Dollar sign? Uh, where is the dollar sign? Ah, oh, there he is, number four. User name. Uh, paid 1,000 sass. Balls to activate. Oh, oh, salty. There you go. And then when we go to use it again, uh, go back to our, our Twitch channel just here and we type in, oh, salty. My Ooh, someone salty. <laughs> uh, my bot should say, uh, my bot is called Chief Sasspot. And he should say, the Erosium TV has paid 1,000 Sassballs to activate. Oh, salty. And that's a great way of doing it. So that's, that's it when it comes to just setting up the basic commands. Uh, something else you could do so that's obviously a command for a sound effect but what you can also do is have them as an alert now let's go through that bit next for those of you that don't already know streamlabs obs is a software that allows you to stream to the internet highly suggested download it if you haven't already uh, there will be a link in the description this is streamlabs uh on the internet basically that allows you to look at your alerts and such as that uh, so you just simply go to streamlabs.com slash dashboard and log into your Twitch or your YouTube, whichever you are using. Uh, it could even be Mixer, um, whatever platform you like. And then click alert box. And this brings you to a general setting here. Um, and it allows you to edit what your follows will look like, what your subscriptions will look like, etc., etc. Uh, mine are look blank but they aren't there's a whole load of coding here which allows some pretty nifty things to happen so when i get a follower and things like that i simply just say this is an example we get a cool alert like that but say you you've got the alert already but you want an extra sound effect yeah uh so let's try that now so let's change the sound effect just here and we go back to where we uh, where we're doing this as an example. So we're going to use ooh someone thought it again. So let's click that. We're going to click that ooh someone thought it. <laughs> let's click select. There you go. And when you get a follower, that will play the sound ooh someone thought it. I'm not sure if it will because of my coding, but we'll give it a go. Oh, it's a subscription. It's the subscription one I did here. Yes, because of the coding, it's kind of overrides the sound effect. Uh, so what we can do instead is go to Stream Labs just here and click Notifications. <laughs> and when you get things like, say, for example, let's do a, let's do. Can we do a follower? Yeah, follower here. So this is the message that you would be able to say to someone, thank you for following. Um, and then I've got it so my emotes are spammed in the chat a little bit. Uh, and then it plays the sound effect. So you can choose from your sound effects which sound effect you want it to play. 
we're going to choose O oh, Salty. So let's try that now. Here we go. Ooh, someone salty. When we got the follow-up, so it keeps the same alert. Um, obviously, for mine, I'm I'm using some code to uh, HTML to to do my alert because I had them made for me. Uh, but you might obviously have a very basic one. Uh, if it is the case, then you can simply just use any media here with any sound effects you want. I hope that makes it really, really simple for you guys. And I really hope that this video has been able to help a lot of you get some of your sound effects uh, up and running. Uh, maybe created some really good opportunities for you to interact with your chat using sound effects. I know my chat absolutely love using sound effects and will definitely will always be a, a staple a part of my channel now as a thank you for kind of creating this video um if any of you really liked it please go to my twitch channel in the description hit follow come join us sometime i hope you uh you use some of those sound effects that you can see in my channel as well i'll see you next next time i'll see you next time guys this is erosium tv out